Viking and Medieval Norse Studies is a two-year Nordic Masters program that offers an interdisciplinary approach to Viking and Medieval Scandinavia by drawing on expertise in the fields of Norse literature, including the Eddas and Sagas, linguistics, history, textual criticism, paleography, runology, folklore, religion, art and archaeology at four different Nordic universities and associated research institutes. Two of these, the Arne Magnusson Institute for Icelandic Studies in Iceland and the Arne Magnusson Institute at the University of Copenhagen, share custody of the largest single collection of Icelandic medieval manuscripts in the world. The first two semesters take place at the University of Iceland in Reykjavik. In the third semester, students can choose between courses at Aarhus University Denmark, the University of Copenhagen Denmark, or the University of Oslo Norway. The fourth and final semester is reserved for writing a master's thesis at any one of the four universities. This is a graduate program for students with a BA degree either in the humanities or the social sciences and have some knowledge of medieval studies. I studied Old English and then needed a new challenge, needed a new experience and a logical one due to the language relationship was to switch to Old Icelandic studies and it was a very good choice. I'm, I'm still able to keep up with my Middle English and Old English experience but I have that little something extra which it's great. I was studying the Icelandic in Japan, but of course there are not so many teachers who can teach about Icelandic literature or Icelandic history. So I felt I definitely needed to come to Iceland to study. I was offered to take part in a manuscript class, and uh, that was just it. I knew that this was my thing, and after taking that class, I knew I wanted to stay in Iceland and get this master's here. For me, it was just the possibility of working with this language that has such an unbelievably amazing history. And it's a beautiful language, too. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. In this program, all the courses are taught in English. Uh, so prior knowledge of Icelandic is not required. The language plays an important role, however, in the coursework. And courses are offered on both Old Icelandic and Modern Icelandic. Everything that belonged to the curriculum was taught in English, but it was also possible to take other classes, and uh, those were partly taught in Icelandic. So it's possible to, to study here without actually speaking modern Icelandic, which is nice when you first come here and are not that good in modern Icelandic. But um, it's also good to take the opportunity to learn the language, because yeah, some of the research material and the literature is in Icelandic and it's good to have access to that. And the professors would take a lot of time to talk to you and uh, as your supervisors for the thesis, they would really do their best to assist you. And I hadn't experienced that before. That was really nice. One of the nice things about being at the University of Iceland is the variety that's on offer. You've got a, a really big range of scholars who are very important in one small space. And you get the opportunity to study completely different aspects of Old Norse studies. I did text and language, but also archaeology and history of religions. Um, so there's a variety of different things for you to do there. Working with these teachers, and it's not just the teachers, it's working with the whole Old Norse When you're actually here, you're having this extremely rare opportunity to spend your time in the institute that essentially houses some of the leading scholars in the world. When I was actually able to come back and work here um, to do further research, um, it was just a real pleasure to come here and chat with them during the day, but to also go to conferences afterwards and have people say, you know this person? It's like, yeah, we have coffee every day. They're great. And, you know, they're they're like the rock stars of the old Norse world. So, you know, to know them all by name is just, ooh, it's, it's very exciting, very fun. The Viking and Medieval Norse Studies program uh, aims to provide thorough training in language, literature, and history, as well as to help develop the skills necessary to work with the primary sources, such as medieval manuscripts, runic inscriptions, and other artifacts. I suppose 
um, being interested in Old Norse, you really want to get your hands on an actual manuscript, the actual bit of vellum or parchment that the the text was written on. If you're interested in the literature like I am, that's that's what you're looking for. And you have just a vast repository of manuscripts here, and you get the opportunity not just to look at them from a distance, but to actually touch them um, under supervision, obviously, but you can you get taught how to understand them. They're not they're not as a printed edition would be, and you get to learn how to how to decode that the abbreviations, the different scripts, and just to get you get a real sense of how the textual culture was working back then, which is something you cannot do in many places in the world, and that's a really good reason to come to Iceland. When I found out that they offered a paleography course here, um, I was terribly excited, so of course I signed up for it. And then the first day that we had the chance to work with them, Svanhildur and uh, Gruðvarður that came in, they've got these little boxes. I think, oh, what do they have in the boxes? And they take them out, and there are manuscripts, these 14th century manuscripts. This had been something that I had wanted to do my entire life, to work with manuscripts, to work with these actual physical objects, hundreds of years old, containing these amazing stories. And to be honest, I don't even remember what was in these manuscripts. I think it was actually just holding something that I knew had been written by an Icelandic scribe in some cold, windy monastery. And it was a cold, windy day out there. And um, to have that sense of connection, that actual physical connection with these materials was sublime. It was absolutely sublime. This program gives an excellent opportunity to visit Iceland and Scandinavia, get to know the people, the language, the country, and see the beautiful historical sites associated with this literature. So I came to Iceland to study Norse, but there are plenty of other great reasons to come. I guess what I think is the best thing about Iceland, beyond even the literature, which I love, is, is the nature of this country. It's simply a beautiful, beautiful landscape. And the course is demanding, but you still can find time to go on trips and go around the island. I, I managed to make it around the island for a 10-day trip. I did um, a couple of weekend trips to various little islands off the coast of Iceland. I've been up to some of the beautiful fjords in the north. There's limitless amounts of incredible landscape which varies from glaciers to volcanoes and you're really privileged to be able to experience that. I'm now working at um, Durham as a doctoral student and having the experience of living here and speaking Icelandic as well as having learned old Icelandic and worked with the manuscripts and worked with these scholars and had the benefit of their experience and their knowledge has just been one of the most beneficial things I can imagine. Of course my specialty is not mythology but uh, in this course in Iceland I learned about old Norse mythology and literature so when I came back to Japan I can teach Japanese students about old Norse mythology. I can use my experience here in Iceland to teach in Japan. It's genuinely nice to have a unique subject. Everyone has some interest in the Vikings. It's a fascinating culture, it's a fascinating period in history. And it doesn't really matter whether you're talking to someone who is academic, be it history, religion, literature. It could be just anyone. And your friends are interested in learning about what the Vikings and just hearing about the stories that you know, the, the events which happened back then, it's fantastic.